to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Okay, I thought having the reticle on the screen would be a good thing, but I, I'm starting to doubt it now. Where the hell are we? when I was thinking that at least I'm not alone. I guess I'm alone now. There's a whispering behind me. Why would he be doing that? Now it's in the trees. God damn it. I must have missed her misheard him. This looks like the way to go. It's a rock. Don't be afraid of the rock. Be afraid of the birds, though. I believe that was a bird. And something just flashed there. Was I supposed to go up or that way? I'm not sure. Would like to try and go up. And try as I may. I'm not going to. I also can't run yet. For some odd reason. Trevor? Who? That's a bug. Or something. That's not. That looked like Alan. Who the hell am I? I can't even look at my face. Is it Vader Emelianenko? Looks a bit like him. I guess I'm going through the tree. Uh, I just tried it and I couldn't. 
No, I can. Guess I'm supposed to escape something. There's no like sprint or anything. No, it's just. How do I stop though? I just stop. Wait, if I toggle. I have to stop to start walking again. Oh, that makes perfect sense. That's how I do in real life. I stop and then start walking. I can just slow down my pace. Something's coming. Ooh. Do I get a swim? No, that's not a pond. That's just a... Uh, depression in the ground. Oh. Let's get some cover from the rain. Although I am a bit wet as is. Now the light is supposed to guide players in games. Is it supposed to be left light or the right light? That's pointing at me. That means there's probably something. Well, let's go that way. That may have been a bad choice. Let's run to the other light. Oh. Okay. This ain't good. Now I get stabbed. Game over. Roll credits. Jesus. Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. 
Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Good. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Right. Oh. I should take a look at that map. Mm, yeah. Probably. Um. Ha ha ha. Oh, ask is exit. Oh, yeah. So this is like it's paused. I hope he doesn't start talking right now. So I'm about to do something. Well, I hope I did what I was trying to do, because it seems like this is one of those games that in which uh, the cutscenes doesn't respect the volume controls. So I hope I didn't mess the volumes too badly now that I did something. No motorized vehicles. We're not going to take the car there, so I guess it's fine. Let's see the map. Hello. Jesus fucking Christ. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Now, how do I get rid of those notifications, if I may ask? Well, I sure hope that did it. So I was about to get a heart attack when that last notification turned up. Now, something's going on. What's the... Yeah, get to the crime scene and find the deputies. So there's supposed to be a guy opened up on a table. I guess. If that wasn't an older case. I believe hey, it wasn't. Over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Mr. And oh, I'm in charge here. Don't I have any options? I guess not. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... We're here. The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Nah. Um, well, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. <laughs> yeah. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. All right. Makes sense. Oh, that was two. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? No. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Okay. Let's see. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. 
I think I'm gonna like Thornton. I also hope this guy plays golf. Uh, you look a lot of... A lot like that guy that I can't remember the name of. Ooh. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Making sure what's it watch? Uh you can access the case board inside the mind place. Ooh. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. What? To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Yes, but I have questions. Mind Palace? Was the. Did this come up in. Alan Wake? Or. Well, I just finished control. I don't think it came up there. So what the hell? Can't see this. Oh, slight difference in murders. Bloating. Bloating only common. Bloating only commonality in bodies. But not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water. Post mortem. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other com com commonalities. Terrible word to use. <laughs> Um, I wish I could see these. Maybe I could use... Oh. Everything we know about the previous murders. Guess Worth if I'm... Taking another look. Guess if I'm an idiot. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to... Analyze clues and progress the investigation. Why do you expect me to have enter on my keyboard? You can use... <coughs> was to move around. Cool. Wee. Ooh. Oh, what a concept. You can use mouse to move cursor. God damn it. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing ESC. So do I press ESC or continue? God damn it. I have to change keyboard every time I do that. Tab goals 2. Oh, right. Cases. Jesus. Uh, how do I get back? Oh. Uh, whoa. Map. Case board. Map. Case board. S zoom. Wait. Zoom up there. Okay, I have to... So, what's the point of moving... All of it. Hello. The victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest. Doesn't really show on the picture. Uh, large chest wound, okay, right. Didn't end there. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Well, that might be just his life choice. People usually do that. Oh, there's info. Found in Cauldron Lake 2018. Some organs missing. Predation. State of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Alright. Found two weeks ago. Chest wound was ruled as a cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegal. Not quite, but illegible. I wish it would zoom where I point this goddamn thing because I have to Jesus right previous murders a series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls finding the connection will help our search for the killer and this is just all individual handlings of this information this I read Bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. Deep gash in the chest, heart miss. Oh. 
Why are these connected or are you supposed to realize that by yourself? Oh, this was Fedor. Okay. But it was Percy. All bodies experience bloating. Bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. Wait. Yeah, she was found in lake. It was on grave and he was on table, I believe. Killer profile. Doesn't talk to someone. There's no one around. Oh, so that's the thing. When I get to it, that point, I can actually click those things. So that's what the thing is needed. So I don't have to go up here and press some key. Oh, probably end because I don't have that key on my keyboard. So post-mortem tattooing of the body. Post-mortem tattooing? Oh. Alright, it didn't say that there. Victim 3 was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe. Or their art. The murder targets have no discernible common traits, apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Killer may be a sportsman or hunter. Sportsman? Kind of sportsman that wears a sports jacket. <laughs> I believe. So when I get this, I get a new clue. But these I can't even click. Alrighty. So what am I supposed to... I guess I'm just supposed to leave? I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. It doesn't post a game. Oh, intriguing. Oh. But I'll visit the place again. Is there anything else here? So I thought it would just get out of the... Playing. Oh. That's what I was... So I thought I had like a... What do you call it? Motion blur. But it's actually... When I turn, it doesn't stop when I stop. Well, well it kind of does, but there's something. It's not like any sort of acceleration, more like deceleration. Turning starts as I start. Of course, the character takes some time to turn but the view still turns I don't think there's even deceleration it's just optical illusion because she keeps moving yeah that's kind of freaky okay I can't do shit and unfortunately I had to Put on the nudity filter because I, th I, th I think, I think YouTube has ties to America, and it seems like they have problems with nudity. Uh, bony legged pap. So we're here. We're headed for the holy. F oh, it's there. How come it's there? There's no water close by. Because the dude came out of the water. Well, they must have moved him. Yeah, that's my theory. And there's a lot of maps to discover. And the goal is to get to the crime scene. Okay, let's keep keeping on. Follow Sam Lake. No, uh, dude, whatever he was. Wow. That's really great looking tree. Oh, uh, well, you should fall that sooner the better. It's dead, and there's a cottage right right by. And if it's a rental ca uh, cottage, 
might hurt people. Also, there's a power line right next to it. Get rid of this tree, please. There's another one. They're dangerous. Like, just standing there is dangerous. Standing here. You never know when one of those limbs might fall. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Leave no trace. Oh. I hope the criminals didn't heed that thing. We're gonna be in trouble if they did leave no trace. Well, they left the body. So, there's that. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not. You sound that old. Hey, this reminds me of Alan Wake. Broken stairs. Can I ever get back up on those... Uh, to those... Cottages? If I don't go now? <sighs> oh, I have to... Jump the F down. Mind if I take a shortcut? Hee <laughs> hee, beat you to it. Run, boy. Run, boy. There you go. Let's try that again. Make him run. Make him run. Make him breathe heavy. Yeah, that's the way. God damn, this looks good. Could be sharper. Maybe I should use a uh, higher... Oh. Maybe it wouldn't help. Yeah. Um, it looks good. It looks real good. I'd like it to be more... Uh, less gloomy. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Wait. If all these are maple leaves, where the hell are the maples? Maybe they're not. No, they're not. Are they? No. Woo. God damn it. Damn. Maybe they are. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. All oh, right. I guess we're in a hurry now. Damnation! They're gonna ruin the body and all the evidence around it. They, uh, the rain. I mean. Oh. Now it looks awesome. Holy smokes. Hey! Hi. How are you doing? I wish I had a jump Deputy button. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Holy smokes. <laughs> Thought it was a thermos. Hunting down psycho serial killers and That's nice. Shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? I'm not sure if I should use FSR sharpening or no. Some places look like they could be sharper, but uh, she looks real sharp, and this rock looks real sharp. Then like, 
Some of these leaves, maybe it's the mist. And this, this log, looks so soft. Or is it the distance? No, it's not, it's still soft. Huh. Well, actually, maybe it's a good thing, because my old computer might die if, they were, <laughs> if everything was rendered to the last pixel. Ah, uh, like, very... Clearly. Found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Uh I would say so. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Do I have to do it now? Can't I like do them all at once? Holy smoke grills. Where's all the other pictures? C. Allow Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with and placed on the case. Hello. Oh, this is a whole new thing. Well, so we just oh, I just planted it anyway. Turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? No. Fate. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings where we're here to investigate. <laughs> Take a guess. Uh, what's... What the hell? Oh, again. Goddamn enter. Why enter? There are different keys. Can I change that maybe? Consistent with previous murders. When a key image, it will prompt a new question. Really? With the end? Uh, objectives are viewable at the case boards in your goals. Alrighty. Oh, right there. Investigate the crime scene. Was about to. And press end. <sighs> Uh, I guess we're off to investigating the crime scene then. But... Step one. Examine the corpse. Yeah, maybe. Okay, of course I can't rebind Want the enter. By inspecting the body, Anderson? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was inspecting if I could rebind the enter key, because it's annoying. Oh. Cool. Let's take the heart out of him. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh, I'd just take a photo without taking a photo. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Quite wide. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. No. Please don't tell me. I have to go back to... <sighs> Newly discovered clues can be placed onto open question. Okay, so... How? With the C? What in the hell is going on? So if I have the reticle up here, no, if I have it here, no, oh, if I move it, they go away, but if I have it here and move it on this thing, it doesn't go, okay, what, consistent with the Does 
doesn't look right. Why not? Help? Newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Jesus Christ. How do I do this then? What? Oh. Exactly. What the fuck am I supposed Oh, no. Hmm. What is going on? I have to be here. No. Oh, that's fucking fun. Hope I don't have to do this too often. Heart removed. <sighs> strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Now I just have to find victim and the killers and press the goddamn fucking enter again. Why can't I? Can I use numpad enter? The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. I can use the numpad thing, so that helps. Uh, you can check the updated goal.